Welcome back to Smith Coding and Design. Today we're going to go through our first tutorial making our Z-axis motor mount to house a thrust bearing for a 3D printer. And so with that said, what we're going to do is go over our vice fixtures. And as always, you'll be able to grab those from the links in the description. So let's go ahead and begin. So what you're going to want to do is grab the first model that contains our parametric stock. And what we'll want to do is go ahead and go to modify, change parameters, and we want to make sure our stock is 2 inches by 2 inches by 1 inch. Or if you're following along and using a different size piece of stock, go ahead and enter that here. It's always best to go ahead and measure with calipers. So go ahead and do that. So there is our piece of stock. I want to go ahead control S for save. And then I'm just going to go ahead and drag in our part. Now I did go over in detail in the previous tutorials how to create a vise with parametric stock. So if you don't want to use the model I provide and you want to create your own, go back to some of the initial tutorials we've done and you'll be able to figure out how to do that. So let's go ahead and drag in our part. I'm just going to move it up and out of the way. I'm going to press J for joint, click the center, there we go, and then I'm going to join it to the center of my stock, and I'm going to go down in Z 50 thousandths, just so that we can face the top of our part, and get that nice, smooth, shiny, and beautiful surface finish. Very descriptive, right? All right, so we're going to press OK, Control Save, and the next thing I'm going to do is come up to the plus sign to the right here, click new design, and I'm just going to save this as an assembly. And then I'm going to go ahead and drag in the vise with parametric stock. You'll notice it says step jaws. That's because I'm using a pair of snap jaws that have a 1 8 inch step. It makes it easy so I don't have to use parallels, although we will be using parallels for OP2, which we'll get into in a minute. But these are essentially just quick change jaws that make life a little easier. All right, so now I'm going to control S for save, and I'm going to open up our second vice model. So for our second vice model, I have my Kurt vice just with a set of parallels modeled. And we're using parallels because in the previous model, if I jump back these step jaws, the 1 8 inch step here is just a little too small for my liking in terms of being able to probe the bottom of the parallel. So what I'm going to do is just use the standard jaws and a set of parallels. So there's this nice, nice face for me to probe on to set up op two, which we'll get into here in a minute. So with that said, all we're going to do is drag in our part again. You'll notice there's a joint origin in the center. Again, watch the previous tutorials if you want to understand how to set up a joint origin or to set up your vice fixtures. All right, and now all I'm going to do is join the center of the part to the joint origin, and then we'll need to go ahead and change the jaw gap and click OK. Now if, what we need to do here is just go ahead and model, not model, go ahead and change the jaw gap. So what I'm going to do is go to modify, change parameters. And what Fusion will allow us to do is mix and match units. So we're not working on a spacecraft. We don't have to worry about a unit error and us blowing up in orbit. So what we're going to do is go ahead and go 40 millimeters minus one inch. Okay. Let's see if that works. There we go. So that should have adjusted the jaw gap for us. It looks perfect. And so that's it for our second fixture. So let's go back to our home view here. And then I'm going to save. And now all that I'm going to do is close this, go back to our assembly, and then just go ahead 
and drag in our second fixture here and then we'll just keep it on the same plane and just move it over a little bit perfect I'm gonna press enter and there we go we have our fixture for op 1 and our fixture for op 2 so again I'm just going to control s because I like saving a lot and then I'm going to go to the manufacturing tab where we can go ahead and start with our setups so let's go ahead and begin with op 1 so I'm just going to right click new setup and I'm going to go to stock and the first thing I'm going to do is go to from solid I'm going to expand the drop down middle menu under models and then I'm going to select our parametric stock there we go we'll now go back to setup and what I am going to do is go ahead and choose the model so our model is of course the stepper motor mount we'll go ahead and choose our box point so I'm going to be probing the upper left corner of the part on the fixed jaw side so that's what I'm going to select for the WCS and now I'm going to enable fixture and I'm going to go ahead and select the components of the vise there we go we just have to make sure we don't select the parametric stock or our part itself and then make sure that we leave everything for op2 alone the last thing I'm going to do is just come over here and give it a name I'm gonna call it motor mount op1 okay there we go and then what I'll go ahead and do here is again I'm just gonna call this op1 and now what we're going to do is go ahead and create another setup for op2 so to do that again I'm just going to right click and I'm going to go to new setup and this time what I want to do is go ahead and make everything from op1 invisible in terms of the vice the parametric stock and the model and then I'm going to go ahead and go through the second vice fixture here so the first thing I'm going to do is make sure that stock is set to from preceding setup and then we'll go ahead and we will select the model which will be our second z-axis motor mount so there it is and then what I want to do is go ahead and select the fixture and then again I'm just going to select the parallels and all of the vice components and don't worry if it seems like it's invisible on you we can go ahead and you know, make all the components of the vice visible if that bothers you okay so that's good uh, the next thing we want to do is go ahead and for our WCS we want to leave it a model orientation but instead of stock box we want a model box point and let me go ahead and make the model visible and what we're going to do is we're going to probe the quarter inch hole here in the center and then we're going to probe the parallel so let me go ahead and make sorry make some of these vice components invisible again just so that we can see what's going on here so what we really want to do is go ahead and set our I'll get it right eventually set our WCS to the bottom here so let me go ahead and rotate it so there you go now you can see a little better so we will again be probing the circle or the hole sorry in the center of the part and then we'll probe the bottom of the parallel and that will put our WCS at the center bottom of our part and this will help us make sure that all of our chamfers and the hole in the center 
back of the part all lines up perfectly for op two. So with that being said, now that we have our work coordinate system set up for op two, I'm just going to go ahead and make everything visible just so that we can again see again what you'll see at the end of the tutorial here is you'll see how I go ahead and probe for op two just so it clarifies any confusion again all we're doing here is we're we're trying to ensure that we line up all the chamfers and the circle or the pocket the circular pocket we're going to do an op to simply by taking advantage of known part geometry so we're going to probe the hole in the center and then probe the bottom of the parallel such that we are at the center bottom of our part all right guys so that is going to be it for our setup We'll go ahead and give it a name. I'm going to call this motor mount op two and then click OK. And then again here, I'm just going to name this op two enter. There we go. And of course, as we go ahead and, you know, toggle between our two setups, Set, setup 2 is using from previous setup so again when we go ahead and remove material from op 1 the material in op 2 will go ahead and update with it so with that being said I hope you enjoyed this part of the tutorial again I'll go through the probing to set up op 2 and then we'll go ahead and start working our way through the cam in the next tutorial all right, guys, thanks again. Please like and subscribe. All right, guys, we're going to navigate to rec slash circ, the probe screen in Pathpilot, and then we're going to press find the center of a circular pocket. And as you see here, we've transitioned into the probing, and that will go ahead and probe the center hole for us. And then what will happen next, as you'll see as the video transitions, we'll go ahead and probe the bottom of the parallel and what that will do is again it will put us at the center bottom of our part so everything will line up perfectly for op 2 thanks again for tuning in